I feel like the first song I developed an obsession for was probably a song by um, Nujabez called um, Reflection Eternal. Um, I remember listening to that song like legit on repeat for most of like my first and second year of college. And um, and I remember it was like, it was a really interesting tra- like transitional point for me because I was kind of coming off the back of re- like really digging um, indie music and getting back into hip hop. And I remember hearing that beat and just going, wow. Like, it just reminds me of why I love music every time I hear it. Um, I started off as an artist, as a painter, um, and then started writing poetry. Poetry was my um, my kind of outlet for a lot of of a lot of things, and then moved from poetry into like performing like acoustically, acoustically onto track. Um, so for the most part, I just let it flow organically. I didn't want to ever make it a case where I was like, yo. I'm gonna be a music artist today because the the industry and the process is so difficult. Um, I had to make sure I was mentally prepared to even be involved in the first place. There's so many. Um, I'd say like three off the top of my head would be people close to me that kind of encouraged me. People like KZ, um, the producer. Um, Maybe style influences. Saul Williams was a a big influence. Andre 3000 was a big influence. There's an artist from Canada called Chaos that is still probably my favourite artist to this day. Um, I kind of try to take my inspirations and my influences from everywhere and anywhere, to be fair. Who would I love to work with? Dead or alive or just alive? Whatever I feel like. I guess if I could... If, who would I, The person I would like to work with most if we could dig up some like some Morton verses, some unreleased would probably be like Prince or um, I'd love to work for Sade. I've been on tour since like February. Um, so I've been traveling a lot, um, just seeing new crowds, understanding different audiences. And it's been um, super duper exciting, to be honest, super duper exciting. I think that's pretty much been my year. It's just been on the road doing shows, but I wouldn't take it back for the world, to be fair. New music's on its way very, very soon. Um, and it's just it's just a, a new chapter in everything that we're, we've got going on. Everything's been built so positively, do you know what I mean? And, and it's been organic. It's been a step-by-step process of, of building the audience. Um, so now I just kind of want to um, give people more music for, for supporting me. Oh, man, you got time? I've got a list for days. Boom, off top, 808 Inc., Slow Tie. Oscar World Peace, Rags Original, um, Cosima, um, uh, Flo Hio, um, God Colony, um, Parker, um, Wretch's new albums, F- Flames, Gets his new albums, Flames. Um, oof. Oof. Yeah, that's enough for now. Jamila Barry. <laughs> I've been waiting to play Afropunk for ages. They had to get me on. I was going to riot if they didn't. It was turning into a stalemate. It was like me against the world right now. And I had, I had like, we last year we had like people tweeting them every day. Why ain't Koji doing Afropunk? So I'm here now. They can't get rid of me now that I'm here. I'm bloody here. I'm here for good.